into one minute thing. Okay, um, so Louise suggests prepare your chlorophyll A before you go out in the field. You can do that by cutting some aluminium foil. I'd suggest a little bit bigger than this generally. But um, for our little um, sort of one centimetre filters that we're generally using to filter lake water here, um, let's say our GFCs, then those GFCs um, are filtered in the field with a, a piston or sort of support syringe filter. Um, and I'll, I might grab Chris oh, just more. Do you talk about that? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, the filter is folded, um, then folded in half with the upper side on the inside as you make it fold. So in other words, the green side is folded um, internally. <coughs> it's then put into, into this. Um, as in an ideal case, Louise has has put a masking tape here on that and it identifies the lake, <coughs> depth, site, um, and she's actually missed a, a really key part of it, which is the volume filter. Absolutely essential that you have the volume filter because otherwise you might be able to calculate your, your concentrations of chlorophyll. Additional information is name. <clears throat> and sample volume. So essentially I, I, I recommend as much information as possible. If it's raining, work inside a big plastic bag, use permanent marker only, remember this will be frozen, and pencil and pen will not survive in the freezer, and use masking tape for the label. So you can make things a whole lot easier for yourself by a little bit of preparation before you go out and the field, which I'm not very good at. Um, And you can point, thanks for that. And on ice, on ice.